Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm, I'm back in the spot, tour is over, and let's get right back into it, our usual flow with an important discussion on a significant topic, musicians and mental health. Over the week that I was gone, a study had dropped that I saw quite a few articles written about, some good, some not so good. Uh, this fact one is, is pretty straight to the point, not bad or anything like that. 73% of independent musicians suffer from mental illness, study says. Uh, the study is a new one that was conducted by Record Union, and uh, it, admittedly, it's not uh, the most scientific survey, it being a web survey, and it's not the most impressive sample size, given that it's just about 1,500 um, independent musicians here online self-reporting. So who knows how accurate the numbers are or how exactly the test was conducted. However, uh, there have been previous surveys and tests uh, based around the same exact issue, uh, which is even referenced in uh, Mr. David Burns' uh, wonderful How Music Works book. And uh, even if you can give or take a few percent from this 73 over here, uh, believe me, as, as previous studies and um, tests have proven, uh, as far as mental illness and independent musicians go, and, and just musicians across the board, uh, it's it's a pretty safe majority. You know, we're talking very, very solidly in like the 55 to 70% range here. So it's uh, the, the record union study here can't be uh, that inaccurate, especially given uh, the angle that the study takes over here once we look at the website, which is linked down below. Um, listen, there are lots of different shapes and forms that uh, mental health issues come in, uh, but two significant ones to me are mental health issues that you're suffering as a result of a chemical imbalance, nothing that uh, you did or anybody did to you that sort of put you in that state. You are suffering from whatever mental health conditions you have due to biological reasons. But if we look deeper into this study and survey on the Record Union website, a great deal of the mental health issues that are reported in this study are due to the conditions of the job of, of being a musician itself. We have a third of musicians out here reporting that they suffer from panic attacks as a result of their creation or profession. We have fear of failure and financial instability contributing to these issues as well. And not that anybody who just picks up a guitar is necessarily owed a career, but once you are entered into the music industry, there's no guarantee that your career is going to be there in the next year, really in the next three months. And that volatility and that lack of stability can be mentally and emotionally crushing and suffocating, especially since these days, many of the labels signing these artists aren't putting them on contract for six, seven, eight albums or an entire decade or anything like that. And even if we are talking a multi-album deal here, that doesn't come along with a 401k, that doesn't come along with health insurance. So there are other benefits musicians aren't getting that would typically come along with a nine to five job. You might say if you're a cynic, hey, musicians should know what that risk is and they're musicians anyway, they should be having fun, they're doing something cool that they love for a living. Yes, the, the music making part for many musicians is pretty fun, but it's everything that comes along with the music creation that makes what they do a career that's actually pretty arduous and, and miserable. But still, to circle back around to my original point, despite the fact that musicians are not working regular nine to five jobs, they are still turning incredible profits for the music industry. Recently reported by Forbes, the global music industry hit 19 billion in sales in 2018, rising by almost 10%. To see 10 full percentage points of profit growth across an entire industry in any section of the economy is, is pretty incredible. But obviously musicians aren't seeing the benefit of that growth, not only financially, but mentally and emotionally too. I know that as the audience, there's music out there that we enjoy and we love to consume that comes from a place of depression and misery and sadness and so on and so forth. When we as listeners and consumers feel depressed, we're going through a hard time, we're going through a breakup, so on and so forth. We love to hear a record, we love to hear a musician who, who it sounds like they're going through the same thing so we feel less isolated in those negative feelings. That is a thing, that is a phenomenon. However, that is a different issue from what we are talking about here. Yes, there is a historical precedent set 
saying that there are a lot of musicians out there that have mental health issues and they are drawn to music, they are drawn to artistic outlets as a means to deal with them. But right now with these statistics, we're talking about mental and emotional stressors on a group of people as a result of their work, as a result of a job and a profession and an industry that frankly, after being in it and watching it and observing it for well over a decade now, is very unforgiving. Artists being thrown into a rat race and chewed up and spit out left and right, complete disregard for anyone's well-being. And while this is a survey of independent musicians, I will throw in something anecdotal here and say that musicians who I've talked to who are signed and maybe even on a major label uh, aren't, aren't doing too well either. Just being on a major label and being given a multi-million dollar recording contract doesn't guarantee you're going to be happy or that there aren't going to be incredible pressures on you uh, when you're operating in the music industry. It doesn't all of a sudden just like make everything easy. So thousands and thousands of musicians here on the independent side, depressed, miserable, stressed out, living paycheck to paycheck, living uninsured like millions and millions of Americans out there already. Even though many people watching this video right now may have uh, felt the sting of jealousy looking at their favorite independent musician or listening to their record and thinking, oh man, I wish that was me. Their life must be so amazing. Looking at the job that these people do, the grind can be just as grueling as any nine to five out there. Maybe even worse in many cases because on top of all of it, you're in the public eye, which is another stressor in and of itself because you're subject to all this criticism and anger and vitriol that you wouldn't be in any other line of work, which may not be as physically taxing as like working in a coal mine or something like that, but can certainly be mentally taxing if you're constantly exposed to it, can really, really mess with your sense of self, your ability to be happy, your ability to be confident, your ability to gain any sort of self-esteem. So look, guys, I'm going to link down below uh, to this article and this page so you can check it out for yourself. But still, this is a pretty significant issue for music fans and for musicians alike. I mean, if you're somebody who doesn't even make music, but you consume a lot of it and you care of it, uh, you should be concerned with the well-being of the people who provide to you what matters the most. Uh, I'm assuming music because you're watching this channel and this channel is about music. So just giving my thoughts here, trying to spread the word. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Record Union, Mental Health, forever.